Welcome to Evolution of Self with me, Britannia. Hello. So this week I want to speak to you about something that doesn't really have its own name. Um, what I would describe it as is being at one with that that you're doing. And it's something that I learned about in my training. And it's something that's become even more and more obvious as I've gone through life. And it's that moment when you detach from your thoughts about doing something and you almost become part of what it is you're doing. Um, if you drive, you'll, you'll, you'll be able to see that very clearly from when you're learning to drive and you have to use your willpower, your thoughts, to remember all the different components that you need to put together to be able to drive safely on the road changing the gear, um, the speed you're going, awareness of what's going on around you, the other cars, the people, the road, the direction, all of those things. At first we use our mind to make sense of it and to try to act in, in it and to do the right things. But after a while, as driving becomes something that you do habitually, when you're in a car, you're not thinking about changing gears and the speed and everything else. You do it sort of intrinsically. You do it as a matter of almost the car becomes part of who you are and your awareness of the outside world and what's going on it is almost clearer because you're able to detach from what it is you need to do to drive the car. The same is true of us as living human beings. We don't think about our heart rate or about digesting our food or regulating our temperature or remembering to breathe. It just happens. Um, it's part of who we are. But this can also be applied to many other things. It can be applied to sports that we do, it can be applied to gardening, it can be applied to all sorts of areas. And the reason I'm sharing this is that when you stop thinking something through, there's a magic that happens. Um, if you speak to any sports person and they become really good at what they do, there's a moment when they sink into being that that they are doing. And instead of thinking it through and trying to action it through the mind, it comes from a state of being. And when it comes from that state of being, it almost becomes magical. The heights that you can reach within that are suddenly so much greater. And it's not even that you strive for those heights. There is a bliss, a joy in actually experiencing yourself in that moment with that thing that you're doing. Um, I know I've experienced it with running, not in winning a race or anything like that, but I remember running and feeling like I could run forever and just the absolute bliss of the movement, of the feeling of being in that space was indescribable. You can find it in relationships as well, where you're not thinking the relationships, you are being the relationships and the love and the care and the thought that you, well, not thought, sorry. <laughs> the love and the care that you you experience with someone you can also experience it in sex <laughs> which i don't often speak about on this but it's true when you're with somebody and they're thinking through what they're doing with you there's a detachment but when they're there being with you it's a whole nother experience so what i'm talking about this week is learning to get out of your head when you're in the process of doing something in your life you can even do it when you're washing the dishes so instead of standing there and being in your thoughts about washing the dishes, you can be in the experience of washing the dishes. And in that experience, you can find bliss. You can find a joy that doesn't really have words to describe it. Because it's the act of actually experiencing life through being that is incredibly moving, rather than as we tend to do as humans, using our thoughts to experience it. I think this has come about because we pride ourselves on education and logic thought. We spend years in school learning how to think correctly, learning how to think and to use analytical thought or even just to use thought. But we're not taught how to be at one with something. And I think that being a human being, that that is one of the most precious things that we can learn. And so I suppose this is just an awareness for you to maybe remember and to think about when it was that you did experience that at one feeling with something, whether it's another person or whether it's a sport that you've done or whether it's even writing or creating something, art, you can be at one with what you're doing. 
you can think it into being by analysing what you're doing and what you think you need to do, or you can allow it to come through you and be at one with what you're doing. And it's not a thought process. It's a part of being the creation of something, creation of the experience of something. Um, when we did the training that I did for consciousness coaching, um, I remember Mark Steinberg saying tennising. So instead of playing tennis, you are tennising. Um, and the same with me when you're, when you're making art or something like that. Instead of being there creating art, you are the art expressing itself through you. And that's what I mean by being in that space. So have a think about it. Try and remember when you experienced it. And try and think, well, and this is going into the thinking which we're trying to step away with, so it can be quite tricky, especially when we train so well to think. But try and experience that and remember how you got into that space, what you did. Um, for me, it's very much about removing my awareness from my thoughts, about bringing my awareness into whatever it is that I'm doing, and learning to appreciate it, but not through an analytical way, but to experience it in all its wonder. I think that's the best I can do to describe it. Um, I hope you have a fabulous week. Um, if you need to connect with me, as usual, my links are all in the show notes below, links to my website, links to my social media, um, links to my online courses, and to the Ho'oponopono that I'm doing on a monthly basis now. So much love from me to you. Bye-bye.